I don't know if anyone's actually gonna come to watch this. I kind of last minute decided to do this, so we will see who pops up if no one does. I believe this still saves to YouTube, so I'm going to kind of just organize my desk and hopefully my phone doesn't fall because I just have it on a bunch of boxes. I think that should be good. Whew, my face, my face, boss, my face is so bright right now. Let's see. I wonder if I can do like, hmm, something behind my phone to keep it up. Maybe this. I've been using like little boxes like this. You know, we are a pro YouTuber here at the Katie and RJ channel. We use what we can get. Is this gonna adjust to my face? I just look so bright. Oh. I had this working before I started. Okay. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna touch my phone. I'm just going to start organizing my table while I wait for people to show up. Probably after mm, five minutes maybe, I will just start. If people join me, yay. I don't have any music to play because I'm recording this from my phone. Let's see if I regret this later or not. <laughs> oh gosh. All these lipsticks, my lips are chapped. Maybe I should have posted this on Facebook. Hmm. Oh well. to figure out a way to charge my phone while I do this. Okay, let's see, is it gonna reach? Ooh, it reaches just barely. Success. But now I have to slide this over. Haha. -ha. Awesome. <sighs> Next time I will be doing this, I'll have a ring light. Um, it broke when I got it um, at my party. So I have to fix it with some epoxy, or epoxy, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, I will hopefully be talking loud enough. I'm sorry if I don't, but... All right, we are getting close to the five minute mark, so I am going to start soon. For anyone who is re-watching this. I am placing all of my brushes in front of me. Um, since I have been traveling, I kind of like grab my favorite brushes and I'll put them in this bag. I just got this bag recently and it is perfect for brushes for one. Like I bring a lot of brushes when I'm traveling. If I can even get this in my hand, see, look, boom. 
These are all the brushes I bring with me. I am an intense brush lover, so I have these brushes. I have brushes downstairs. I just bought a new set of brushes. Um, I just think they make my life easier. So I'm just going to organize these super quick while I continue to wait and stall for a little bit. Since I didn't post this on Facebook, I don't know if anyone's actually going to show up. I might also test out a concealer in this because I have wanted to talk about the Makeup Revolution concealer that I have. Um, I broke out recently from something. I don't know what, but I did use the Makeup Revolution concealer again and I didn't break out from that. I was so worried that that was the cause of my breakout because if you haven't heard about the Makeup Revolution concealer, it is pretty bomb. It's like $7 and it covers so much. My only issue with it is that it's kind of drying. Alright, I think I have my brushes mostly organized roughly okay I'm going to clean my face Getting all the sleep off. Part of me really wants, I think I might just open these on camera while my face dries. So I got these Aurora Lights BH Cosmetic 10 piece brush set. Um, it is cruelty free, so all of it is made with synthetic hairs. I am a huge fan of buying brushes. Ooh, this is a nice bag too. Wow. The thing, I, okay, so I like this brush, the brush bag. I think it's really a makeup bag, but it's kind of velvety, so I don't really want it around products or like creams because it's going to get dirty. I assume it's washable just because of like the texture itself, but let's see, lengthwise they're about the same. I think the Wet n Wild bag, this one is just a little bit wider. I don't, this one is made out of like dingy material, not dingy, but just like nylon, I believe. So I think this is sturdier, but what I also do is I will put like skincare or I'll put my glow mist in here. So I'll put all of my like primers and stuff in here outside of my regular travel bag. So let's take a look at these brushes while we wait, or while, while we, while I wait. This is like one of those moisture packets. Okay, let's start with the big boy. Ooh, yes. So I recently just bought a uh, brush, like a Sigma brush cleaner stand. I don't really know what they're called. They're like a spa and something, but it'll come with one of these because normally what I'll do is I will take my brushes and I will just clean them on a drying rack and I'll take rubber bands and kind of like rubber band them to it so they're facing down. So I'm really excited. That's also why I'm trying to use all my brushes because I will be cleaning them with an actual stand instead of taking up the bathroom, which I'm sure my roommates and my boyfriend will appreciate. So this is a really big fluffy brush. They're just labeled one through 10. It says it's a powder brush. I'm probably going to use this for contour. I've really been liking it. has kind of like a dome shape. I've really been liking dome shaped brushes recently to kind of like carve out these cheeks. Um, where do I want to put this? I guess I'll just put them back in the bag. Let's see. What is the next one? Number two is a tapered blush brush. It's, oh, this is number three, which is weird, I guess. Um, okay. is this it? 
Number two, yes. Uh, a tapered blush brush, which honestly, I would use this for highlighter potentially, or even to dust away my bake. And the next one is an angled contour brush. So this is a brush that I would prefer to use for blush. See, it has like the divot. Um, but I guess I could use either of these for blush, really. Um, I have a lot of face brushes, like even right now, these are all my face brushes. So these can be dual purpose. I do love when brushes can be used for more than one thing. Next up is a large blending brush. Large blending brush. Ooh, this could be used for highlighter. This is smaller, which is perfect. I really like when a highlighter brush can kind of like wiggle. It's hard to tell because it's a black brush, but nice. Uh, let's see. Large blending brush number five is a just a regular blending brush. It's smaller. These bristles are super soft. I'm really liking how they feel. Can't wait to actually use them. Uh, blending brush. Let's see here. We are looking for number six. I should have made some tea so my voice isn't so hoarse. I kind of I just woke up. This is a blending crease brush. So it is dome shaped, a little tapered, like so. Very soft still. Seven is a dense shader. Is this really dense though? Oh, I mean, I guess so. Yeah. An angled brush is number eight, which these ones, it's very, ooh, it's like sharp to the point. Oh, here, you can't see it because of my face. Um, it's very sharp. I feel like it's a little, the brushes, the bristles are too long for me personally, but I don't, I don't really use angled brushes, so maybe I'll give that to a friend. Nine is a tapered tip shader. See, this is what I would use to like cut out a crease. All of these brushes are super long. I know it's hard to see. Like this is where the the uh, the metal holder stops. Ooh, if my finger would stay right here. And then all of this is the brush. So I don't know. And this is a detailing pencil brush, which I think all of my detailed pencil brushes is what I call them are all lip brushes so it's kind of nice to have an actual like pointed detail brush. And that is all of the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights brushes. This is only $24 which I think is a pretty nice steal. I should have made some tea. My voice is like hoarse. Let's get into the makeup. So my face is dry now. <clears throat> um, in my travel bag, which I will show you my travel bag, it is really messy because I, I want you to keep in mind that this travel bag I take in a car. So I'm not taking this on a plane anywhere. Um, my mode of travel is usually by car. I don't drive. Um, my boyfriend will drive, or like my parents will drive, like I went to a family reunion recently and my parents drived, so I'll do my makeup in the car. Now it sounds like it would be very dangerous, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. So this is my travel bag. If you are traveling in an airplane, this might not be the kind of bag that you want to bring just because certain, um, planes only allow so many bags onto the plane. So for skincare... I have the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream, and I just started using this literally like this past weekend, so for almost a week, and my under eyes already look amazing. Oof, my mirror is so dirty. I'm going to spread this all over the lid. Mm 
and it is just like a lightweight cream. Hopefully you can see it if I add some. Oh, here you go. Now you can kind of see into it. So yeah, it's I very rarely use it. Um, I use it in the morning and in the afternoon when I wash my my makeup off. This is just um, something that comes with it. Here, I gotta add some shade to it. That's why there's this black thing. Normally you don't see that. You only see my backdrop. Um, I kind of just keep this here so that if for whatever reason this top comes off, all of this cream doesn't land anywhere in my bag or my carry-on or whatever. And then for the rest of my face, it's very dry. So I'm going to actually no, I have my serum in here, so I will use that instead. face is just so dry right now. I just might do a little face mist. This is, I don't usually travel with this, but this is the facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I just need some hydration. Oof. Oh my god. Okay, so let's scoot some of these brushes over. Get ready to do my eyeballs. So the two palettes that I bring in my travel bag are Juvia's Place palettes. I know, surprise, shocker. I bring this one if I want to do a lot of color. It'll open. There you go, boom. And as you can see, these are some really fun bright colors. And then this one if I want to do just like a very subtle um, glam. So in this one you can see um, I usually just do this brown and this and then if I feel like doing like a peachy tone I'll do these two but mostly I'll just use these and maybe these shimmers. These shimmers are very hard to wear on like a day look because they're just so glammed I would say but I'll bring depending on where what car I'm going to be in I'll bring like pressed pigments um, let's see, is there anything else in here that I put on my eyeballs? I don't think I really brought that much eyeshadow for this last trip. I did not. I bring this handy dandy, um, shadow switching pan because it literally will save your life. I feel like I talk about this a lot in my videos possibly but I seriously love it um, to get the most out of it I will flip this thing so that I can clean off more brushes and I don't have to clean it as much clean it as in this thing okay let's hop on in I think I'm going to do a blue look today kind of what I'm feeling. I have this teal liner that I bought recently so this isn't something that I travel with. If I know I'm going to have time to do a slaying eyeliner cat eye look I will use these liners. Um, but this time around I didn't have much time and I just wanted to do my eyeshadow. Um, let's see so I think I will tie that into my eye look today. On my waterline. So for primer, where's my handy dandy eyeshadow primer? Apparently not in here. Did it fall on the table somewhere? to take some more time to find it later. I need to bring up my hair because my hair is in the way. It's bothering me. This is why my hair is up in so many videos because I just get tired of pushing it back. It's just so fluffy. Okay, 
So, well, normally I use the Milani eyeshadow primer because it's smaller than this and it just gets the job done. But I don't have that today, so I will just be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I think I need to clean my... Okay, now to start off, I am going to go in with a fluffy brush. This is the Carity E30 brush. I'm going to rub off whatever was on it last. And today, or do I want to do like a smoky blue? Mm, we'll keep it subtle. So I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Douce palette and I'm just going to hit, you'll kind of be able to see it um, here. So I'm going to go into this chocolate brown for now and I'm just going to dot this in my crease. So quiet because I'm so focused. Ugh. And then to clean up those edges, I'm going to go in with the oops, brush carry E31 and go into this light brown and just swoop this here. And then for my lid, I think I'm going to just go into this teal blue. And I'm just going to pack this all over the lid with just a, I think this is just like a regular shader brush. Don't even, I think it's from Mary Kate. Um, I'm just going to pack this onto the lid.
darker brown in this crease area. I feel like the brown I have right now is very warm. Okay, what to do, because this is kind of weird. I'm going to go in with a clean brush and take that brown again and kind of pack it in the crease. And then with the other end of the brush, I'm going to fluff it out a little on the edges. Pull it out too much because I want it to be a rounded look. And now I have to try and. Ugh. Dang. Well, you probably can't tell on camera. No, you definitely can't. This is starting to pull out too much. I'm just gonna keep flicking the shadow away with my finger. Go in with the berry mousse color. I think that kind of did what I wanted it to do. I don't know. Mm. The blue isn't as vibrant. I mean, I guess it's a teal, but eh, I'll just leave it. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist today. I just want to wear makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Auto... Uh, yeah, automatic eyeliner. Pfft, it's so early. <laughs> and this is a metallic teal. I'm also going to swatch it on my hand. Mm, it definitely is teal. I don't think it'll match the teal on my lid, though. It's not very vibrant. shouldn't take this long to build up a teal. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, that's not On the skin it's showing up, but that's not where I want it to show up. I want it to show up in my waterline. Oh well. Bah bug. So let's see, what color, what brush did I use for this? Teal, this one. Ooh. 
going to apply the teal close to my waterline. Get it in my eye and half the length. I think for the sake of having a blue look going on, I'm going to grab a darker blue. This color I recently got from my Ipsy. It is blue jean. It is this giant bottom shade right here. I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to grab a brush that's not down here. Should I really dirty new brush? Yeah, because this is the kind of shape I want. So this is just an Ego Tools brush. Can't see it against my black shirt. It looks like that. And I'm going to tap it so that it is full, filled with color and bring it close to my waterline. And I'm also going to build up some blue on the edges up here. Okay, now I'm going to go back and forth between this blue jeans color and if I can find that brush, the teal color that is in this palette. I hate that the top part of my eye is so red. Ugh, I want it to be brown. That's what I get for using a dirty brush. Since that teal didn't work, I'm probably going to grab a different blue and put that in my waterline. Which I didn't want to do that, but... That's gonna have to happen. This is a very intense look for what is either 10 or 11 by now. I keep making this blinking look because I have eyeshadow on my contacts right now and it's messing with my vision. So this wasn't what I was going for, but it is looking really nice. I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Eyeliner in Aqua. I don't know what color this is. Oh, Azure.
that's not what I wanted. If I had cobalt down here, I would use it, but I don't. Cobalt is cobalt blue, and it would be perfect for this eye look. I'm just going back in with the teal, because since I did all that blending, I'm losing the color just a little bit. Oh. Perfect. Here are the blue eyes we have going on right now. I think it looks really nice. I could add some blue sparkle onto the center, but I think I will leave it as is. Next, so we got the eyes done, we got the liner. I am going to take a black liner and line the top of my waterline, the inside of it. This black liner is on its last leg. Ugh. I'll have to add this to my empties, which I guess I will be doing an empties video. had a harsh line so I needed to blend it out and up. <laughs> okay, what is next? I think we're at the point where it is time to blend out some concealer, time to do some baking, which means it is time to put my primers on. Okay, so I have the mattifying primer by Hard Candy, and I press this, I grab just a little bit because I feel like the more you add, the less it actually works. I press this into my nose, into like the sides here, I don't know what these are called, but it's where I get oily. I'm just going to press it into the skin. Cause I don't know if this is supposed to be like a pore filler and that's how it does its magical work. Um, it just says that it is supposed to keep away oils prevents oil build up and reduces shine while reducing the need for foundation touch ups. And then a little bit on my chin. It's not very hot today, so I don't think it will be as detrimental for me to have this on. And then I'm going to use my usual, usual NYX Honey Do Me Up primer. It also has a serum built into it, so it is amazing for the skin not using a mirror for this because I'm just gonna steer straight into my phone press this into my under eyes
and for any spots that I missed, which I don't carry this with me, but just, just in case I am going to take the priming water from ColourPop. Because my skin is just so dry today. It just needs the hydration. I'm just pressing this into my skin with a kabuki brush. Awesome. Make that dry. Now, for concealer, I would normally use the ColourPop. Hello, Razor! Hi! Welcome to the party! Um, I normally use the ColourPop found, or concealer, but I'm actually going to use the Makeup Revolution one because I do think I am going to do a wear test today. Let's just hope that I do not break out from it. Yeah. I forgot which color. I got two colors. I got C9 and C11, and I don't remember which one I am, so we'll see how this goes. I know one of them is darker, so C11 we will use to correct the dark under circles that I get, which are right here. It is a little dark, um, and any red pimples that I might have, which I only have two pimples. Wow. And then I'm going to go in with C9, add a little more near my under eyes here, my forehead, my nose, because my nose is darker. <sighs> Shouldn't you be working if you're at work? Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Put some here. Get it right here. I don't remember how fast this dries, so we'll see if this is going to be tough to blend out. Oh, this is not my usual sponge for when I travel. I usually travel with the Morphe sponge. Patrolling outside. Okay. I mean, I guess this is like watching a, or listening to a podcast, except it's makeup, so yeah. But, well, cool. Thanks for joining me, Razor. Missed you so much. I hope work is going well. My friends got me a bunch of Sonia Kashuk sponges and I felt bad because I've tried these before. I absolutely hated them. Only because these white spots, they kept coming off on my skin. And surprisingly, like with this sponge, I don't know if maybe I just got a bad batch, but with this sponge, it's not happening. So I'm pretty dang happy about that. This is blending away like a dream. Uh, yes. We are highlighted, our lack of sleep is covered. I think one spot I didn't blend out very good, but that's okay. For foundation today, I am using the Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild. I have been testing this out. Aww. I've been testing this out and so far it has been treating me really well. It does not make me very oily, which is lovely, and it dries down nice. It's not necessarily full coverage. I mean, I guess it kind of is. I don't know. Can't really tell, um, but I like it. It didn't make me break out. I honestly was very nervous to try it and have my skin react. I've never been allergic to anything. I've had a cold for about two weeks. I thought it was allergies and I was wrong. <laughs> so I definitely should have listened to my brain saying that I was sick. 
and I should have rested more, probably drank some more tea, I don't know, but I just kept on trucking. So these, this allergy thing is so new to me, I didn't start having allergies up until um, last year around this time too, so I just thought that maybe like this was the time to have allergies, I didn't think I was getting a head cold. And I've gotten a head cold twice this month, which, why? Like, this is my birthday month. I shouldn't be getting head colds. Okay, so foundation is all blended in. And as always, to set my face, I will be using the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. It is my favorite. I actually have to go out and buy this again because I am in desperate need of more. We will be baking, so I will be looking a little crazy for a little while. I really hope they never discontinue this powder because I will lose my mind if they do. While we are baking, do I really want to contour? I'm really not doing anything today. Like today I have staff training, which is honestly why I'm hosting this video and not working on finishing the video that I have literally like maybe 10 minutes left to edit. Um, it's just been a crazy week between getting ready to do a client's makeup for her senior photos and having staff training and then getting laundry done that literally has not been cleaned in like a month. Um, I've been slowly taking care of it but it's just like there are days where I don't want to do anything and then it was my birthday not too long ago um, so I really am trying to get the video of me and Samara doing our makeup together for my birthday up but it's just not it's just not happening. So to contour, I am using the Morphe High, you know, 8 Lo-Fi palette. It looks like this. You can see my desk. Look how messy it is. Isn't that beautiful? Just to warm up my face a little bit because after I powder and add my foundation and do baking, sometimes my face looks a little dead. Haha, <laughs> thank you for the motivation. I keep trying to come up with little rewards for myself so that I get excited to do laundry. Like, if I do laundry, then I can watch an episode of my favorite show. Or while I fold my laundry and put my laundry away, I'll watch my favorite YouTubers and things of that nature. Or like yesterday, I got sushi for getting done some shopping that I needed to do. And I forgot how much weight I gained. Uh, when I went home to visit my family, uh, my mom took me shopping for my birthday and she asked me, like, do you need any black pants? Because black pants is like a staple for any business attire. And I said, no. And I tried all my black pants on yesterday. Only one of them fit. The other two, one was super tight and the other one just like wouldn't even go above my thighs. I've gained probably about like 30 pounds, which for me is really great because I haven't really gained weight up until the last year, but it's kind of a pain because you never remember how expensive clothing can be until you don't fit into something and you have to spend like 30, maybe like $50 on new clothes. So I called her, told her about my dilemma. I did find one pair of pants. I literally like went into the dressing room with six different things, like two dresses, a pants, a shirt, and I'm also very picky, so I, I only bought one thing from that like pile of clothes that I got. Buffing away the bake now. My face is so powdery. 
that's okay. For blush, I'm going to use the Gen Nude Beauty, is it really beauty? Gen Nude Powder Blush by Bare Minerals. <laughs> I did come back, yes. I, I didn't really tell anyone that I was back in Milwaukee um, just because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to spend time with anyone. Um, we actually went to Chicago last weekend and I passed through Milwaukee as well. I wanted to see a few friends, but no one was really responding. And we, by the time we got back um, on Sunday, it was 10. So I think if we would have stayed in Milwaukee, we wouldn't have gotten back until midnight possibly. So the few times that I have visited this summer, I have been either spending time with friends or I've been spending time with Alvin's family and friends. So I haven't really been to Milwaukee for pleasure since God knows how long. I don't know. I really want to visit next summer and like actually spend a few days in Milwaukee. For those of you who are my YouTube family that have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I'm from the city of Milwaukee. I live about two hours away. Um, and I don't see my family or friends very much. I see them maybe during the holidays, if I'm lucky. Um, Razor, who's currently watching me right now, hi again, um, is one of my friends from Milwaukee. I don't get to see him very much. But I try to see my friends once a year, if possible. I also get very homesick, so it's very hard when you don't drive and you don't have a car to see people. Aww. Thanks, Razor. Yeah, I definitely, I don't, since, you know, winter's coming, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be there uh, for, like, actual fun. I definitely want to try, because, like, Milwaukee in the summer is so nice. Like, you can actually walk around. I feel like it's more fun in the summer. In the winter, there's not as much to do, and it's cold. God, I hate winter. Winter's the worst. put too much blush on. Shocker, I know. Just going to take some of that ethereal powder and dust over where that blush is so I don't look like a clown. Okay, have fun at work. Be safe. I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Chisel these cheeks. Let's see. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to spray my Pixie Glow Mist while I get ready to do my highlighter. As I mentioned before, my face is really dry, so this glow mist really helps in between the powders and all the stuff that you put on your face to kind of just melt it into the skin and help you look like you're not wearing as much makeup as you potentially are. I also, like, when I look cakey, what I like to do is I'll, I mean, I don't look too bad right now and I, I don't want to do it and mess up the wear test that I'm about to do. Um, another thing I'll do is I'll spritz the glow mist onto the damp beauty sponge and press that into my under eyes and then lightly, not bake, but lightly set it again with the setting powder and that kind of brightens up the area. Okay, the pink has toned it down since we've been doing all this like powder around my face, so I'm really happy about that. For highlighter, now for traveling... Because I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything crazy like this. I brought the Flexitarian highlighter. Love this highlighter. And then I brought the... I don't remember what this is called. I think it's like Starflower, which is an orange highlighter. I will not be using either of these today just because I don't really want an icy look. I kind of want to tie in some of the blue on my cheeks. I've got the Wet n Wild highlighter kit recently and there is a blue highlighter in here so I will be highlighting my inner corner, my brow bone, and my cheeks with the highlighter in here. 
So I did try out these other two right here. Ooh, you can't see that. The other two, this one, which is like a peach, and this one, which is a pink. Uh, and I did like the highlighter palette. It is a little subtle, but I know you can definitely build it up. So I'm just going to clean off this highlighter brush a little bit and dip into this blue. Swivel that in. Ooh. I might have to even go in with Flex Retired just to get some more gold for my yellow skin because this is very icy. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my inner corner. Sometimes if I have too much highlighter, I will just dab it in this inner corner until it's gone and then go back in to spread out the shimmer. I feel like it's very glittery, um, which isn't a problem necessarily. I do like a, a glittery highlighter, but I will be going in with something else to make it just look smoother, like your skin is wet more so than that. So I'm just gonna put that on. Oh yeah, that's glitter all right. I always feel like I make the weirdest face when I'm putting on a highlighter. It's just because I like to smile so that when I smile, my cheeks are glowing just like the rest of me. Put that, ooh, get that inner corner. Ooh, I don't know if you heard that, but my stomach just growled. Um, I wanted to have breakfast before I recorded this and looked in the fridge and all the milk has expired. We have like three things of milk in our fridge right now. And I'm just so bad with paying attention to those kinds of things. Okay, I need to go grocery shopping. That is on my list of to do so that I have food for the weekend. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit more shimmer glow. Oh my gosh, this video is almost at an hour. Which honestly, in between, like when I am recording a video, it does take me about an hour to do the video. And then I go back in and edit and cut it down as best as I possibly can um, so that you're not watching an hour long video. So this live video just shows you how long it takes me to do my makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to smile and on the high points I'm going to place Flexitarian on my finger and as you can see it is already super bright. I'm just kind of running it in those areas that I want to seem more smooth and wet and then I'm going to go into the blush or not the blush with the brush and blend it together and marry the two and probably dip in with the tip of this for my inner corner. Okay. Now I'm just going to swivel, 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 swivel. I'm so excited for the school year to start. Um, the last week of my job was super crazy. There's just so many kids. I work with kids. I'm not going to say where exactly. If you know me, you already know where I work. Um, just to protect them and my job and keep some security in that. Let's see. Ooh, little blue on the lip. Well, my right eye, which is my dominant eye, is covered in eyeshadow, so that is really annoying and I actually can't see right now, but I hope I look good. <laughs> I think I do from looking in my other eye. I'm definitely very glowy, 
which is what it is. So I think now I've done my highlighter, my blush, my contour. Um, all that's left is lips and mascara, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to set my face first and I'm going to, let's see, let's just, um, I don't know how I want to do this. I'll just go in. So this is the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix. This is my absolute favorite hands down setting spray. I think it's so good and it just, it does wonders. I'm going to set my face. And then with the beauty sponge, I'm just going to lightly tap where that highlighter is to awaken it <laughs> pretty much. I think one cheek is brighter than the other. It definitely is. That's okay. Oh well. For lips, I didn't really have a plan for my lips. I have a blue lip gloss that I could do. I probably will end up doing that. But, okay, so I really want to talk about this, which I'll probably talk about this in another video as well, just because it's just, oh, found the Melania eyeshadow primer. I don't know how I didn't see that. Um, I'm not going to do my brows because it's just another thing that's going to take a million years to do. I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, where is the other mascara I'm looking for? Ah, uh, my desk is a mess. Where is it? Put this back. I guess I could just start putting things in here. And maybe, oh here it is, got it. Okay, so the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade is so good. It is so worth your time. And then mixing this with the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara, my eyelashes have not looked better. Like, I can't talk about how amazing it is. You'll just have to try it for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes and we are going to plump these babies up. Okay, my either it's my welcome back razor. Welcome to the party. We are well, we but me. I'm almost done with my makeup, and then I am going to eat because I haven't eaten yet today. Um, is there anything else about my face that I want to change? Going to spend probably like five, six minutes on mascara because mascara is my favorite step in doing my makeup. I have really nice eyelashes and I want everyone to see that. So the other thing about this mascara is that there are fibers that make your lashes longer, which is crazy. I just didn't have any milk. All my milk was expired and I normally eat cereal in the morning and I couldn't do that today because I don't have any milk to eat my cereal with. So before it dries, I go in super speedy with the Warp the Hype mascara. I feel like your lashes are already long enough razor. Guys are always so blessed. They have such long lashes. And maybe it's because they don't use mascara. They don't touch them. Maybe that's why their lashes are so good. Because they don't mess with the, the perfection. I think that's pretty good. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, next I... I mean, you can always put on fake lashes, which you might look a little weird if you try to just use like an individual lash, but there are things out there for you. The only thing I don't like about this mascara is there's this little like ball at the corner and sometimes it's very convenient and other times I feel like it just gets the product everywhere. <laughs> Razor, can you tell me what time it is? Cause I can't look at a clock and I don't have my watch on. Look at this watch tan. Look at it. It's terrible. I haven't worn my watch for like three days. I just haven't charged it because it's a Fitbit. Eleven forty six. Okay. Perfect. We got just enough time to finish this. Isn't it? It, like, it is a blinding. I have tried to tan it by taking my watch off occasionally, and it honestly hasn't gotten any better. lower lashes and then I'm out gotta eat I'm so hungry I don't know what I'm gonna eat probably eggs whatever I can find in the fridge I know I have oatmeal but I don't have the good flavors of oatmeal so that's kind of a bummer Oh, this eyeshadow on my contact is so annoying. I knew when I was upstairs, when I saw my contact solution up there, I was like, oh, I should bring this downstairs with me. And then I just didn't do it. This mascara is not for doing the lower lashes with, I'm finding. <sighs> Yikes. Uh, well, for what bill? Hopefully not an important one. I mean, I guess all bills are technically important. Oh no, I messed up. That shouldn't be too hard to fix. Oh. Interesting. Well, that's a little weird. Okay. I don't know if the mistake that I made is super obvious. So let's see. I'm just gonna. And to mask the mascara lines, I am going to go in with blue jeans once I find that eyeshadow magnetic palette. Where does it? 
really need to clean my desk. Like, this is outrageous. So blue jean, yet again, is this color, and I'm just going to run this along my lash line to mask all the black lines that are there. From the mascara. I doubt anyone's going to be that close to my face to notice. But you never know with staff training. Um, I'm probably gonna eat an egg and a bagel, like, put together. I don't really know. Um, I probably shouldn't put lip gloss on if I'm gonna eat. Well, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna put lip gloss on. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So the lip gloss that I'm going to put on is Finesse by ColourPop. Probably one of my favorite lip glosses. I did just get a blue or a, <laughs> an orange one from them that I really like, but it is not going to go with this very blue look. I'll eat, I'll eat. It's gonna happen. I had sushi. I ate like two rolls yesterday of sushi. It was amazing. I got the Chicago roll, which has salmon, cream cheese, cucumber in it, and then obviously rice. And then Alvin had me order him shrimp tempura, but I guess I ordered the wrong thing, or the lady thought I was ordering shrimp tempura, the like sushi rolls, and gave me eight, is, is it eight? I'm pretty sure it's eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah, eight of the shrimp tempura like rolls of sushi. And it was still cooked, but he didn't like it, so I ate all the sushi yesterday. So it's not that I don't eat, I'm just not very good in the morning with eating. Is there anything else I want to do to my face? I guess I'll take my hair down. Now that I'm done. Do, 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 do. This hair is so fluffy today. Jesus. Okay. Got the hair down. And that is the end of my travel bag. I guess I should go over the lipsticks that are in here because I didn't use a lipstick that was in here. Um, some of the lipsticks that I bring with me when I'm traveling is I always bring this NYX liner. It is the color mm, Beauty Mark. I do have hair. It's a lot. It's a lot of hair. Um, I bring this ColourPop lippy, which I've been trying to use, and I haven't used it. It is in the shade... Where's the shade? I thought the shade was here. Oh, Dopey. I use the shade R&B a lot, because it's a purple one. This primer lippy stick, the shade Fly Fee, this e.l.f. lip gloss, and then I really liked... I don't know, I keep trying liquid lipsticks and I still don't like them. This one has a very saucy name. It's called Suck It. <laughs> but I really like this liquid lipstick. Um, I don't know. I keep trying them and halfway through the day I wish it was a lipstick instead of a liquid lipstick. So I think I'm going to stop buying liquid lipsticks. Um, the eyebrow pencil that I brought with me is the pop one that I got in my Ipsy bag. I have been fooling around with the angled tip more and I don't think I like angled tip eye eyebrow pencils. So that is it. That is everything in my travel bag. <laughs> uh, I think not. <laughs> Okay, thank you for joining me, Razor. Uh, anyone who watches this after it's posted, because this is still going to post to the channel, um, 
comment down below tell me what your favorite product is or if you enjoyed me and razor talking i will probably do this again um and hopefully by then my ring light will be fixed and i won't have it on like it being my phone on all of these boxes and like tumbling possibly so goodbye everyone thanks for watching see you in our next video bye how do i end this <laughs> Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes, I am sure.